What's up, people? Today, I am doing, as you can see, another tier list video. So the last one that I have done was basically at the beginning of this year when I reviewed 2023 movies and seeing which one was best to worst or somewhere in between. So yeah, it's been, it's been a quite a bit of months since I've done this, and I don't know why, but for some reason, I just decided, you know what? I'm going to do a tier list and ranking from the options that we have at the bottom here every single good mythical morning intro did one little search on youtube and when i searched up like gmm intro like tier list of like seeing if anybody else has done a tier list like this and when i searched on youtube nothing it was just other actual just gmm like videos and stuff if i'm somehow the first person that's ever done this i'm gonna claim it <laughs> but anyways let's just get started just one more thing before we start um i'll be displaying every single like actual like uh video footage of the intro for each one so you can get a clear viewing of it. All right, so this is the first one right here. Well, we're going back to 2012. I'll play the clip right now. This one I would say is like the most authentic out of any one of these intros. Just in the sense that they use legitimate toast, eggs, bacon, and even coffee as well. Which obviously fits along with, like obviously in the morning you have breakfast shit but yeah i mean it fits along with that visually it fits along and there's a little creativity in this you know actually given the first three uh letters gmm on the toast and as well using those letters as well when the text pops up i would put that at b but i'll probably say more on the lower b end not like just like borderline low b but on the lower end all right you're moving on to this it show This one, they completely have taken a whole other route with this one, which is going more digitalized. The overall style of this one, I will say, it really reminds me of Arts and Crab. Like, just the way I'm looking at, like, the mountains, even the trees. Yeah, they just remind me of kind of Arts and Crab. It's it's real simplistic, but still, it's just enough, I would say, to just showcase what was going on when you, when you saw the clip. And I think one thing I will say, this was also the start of the actual booster that you see there, and that's pretty much been in every single intro from there now so i gotta give it that credit i think with this one i'm also gonna put this one out of b passing a little bit the halfway mark and going into the higher b set because i will still say it still has like the same kind of simplistic feeling from the first intro the only difference obviously i would just say for this one is that they pretty much like try to at least create more of like a scenery kind of intro it's just more animated i could definitely appreciate that okay this one Yeah, this one right here, big improvement. Such big indifference compared to the last one. Here they went with a more just like 3D approach to this. And also like just the music in this one, I do like more than how like the actual theme song goes with this one. It is better compared to these other two. And it's also making the actual just scenery as it's playing through feel more lively. It's starting at dark and you're at the bottom of the rock and as it goes up it gets more sunny. Then we see the rooster again and then yeah. And maybe just like the actual just overall style of this one. Maybe they took inspiration from this. I don't know. It reminds me of like stop motion movies and their style that they went with be a nightmare before Christmas and, and Coraline. It really reminds me of that kind of style. It was interesting. This is a really solid intro. I'll definitely get this one at an A. Yeah, because of I'll say like the visual styles, probably more like just the actual just visual style scenery how they made it more lively more of like a bigger reason is definitely just the the intro song itself it sounded more joyful and just i feel like it just packed in a joyful manner all right this one's next okay i'm not gonna lie to you guys comparing this one to the last intro i just talked about honestly there really isn't there's not much of a difference the only difference I would say is that this time they just went with a POV of the rooster just going through this like Grand Canyon area and then just ending it and then just showing the name of the show. The style looks pretty much the same, I would say. I don't like the music intro in this one as much. I think for this one, it's it's a bit of a step back and there wasn't really much of any difference, but I would say this is still on like the higher E section, but that's just me. Oh boy, this one. This one sure is interesting. Dude, 
This one is easily their most boring intro ever. It's just on a lower end compared to the other intros. It just doesn't compare, man. It just doesn't. There's just nothing that creative in this one. So yeah, this one, 100%, is going at a D. Now, I was debating putting this at an F, but the reason I didn't put it at an F is because this right here, like, towards the end of this intro, it does have a clean look to it. So that is the reason I'm not putting it at an F. All right, and now we are pretty much approaching, or at least getting closer to the one that is my, I think, the best one. But we'll get there when we get there. But yeah, all right, so this is the next one. This one, I would almost strike it as perfect. This one is almost perfect. In terms of the styles, it looks very like a collage. It's just these things and the way they're placed, it feels like a collage kind of style, which I do like. I also they like how like the individual letters of, of the name of the show just popping out of the ground. And once it kind of just zooms in, Rooster does the fire, then it just shows off this clean name at the end. Creatively, it feels like well. I just like just the overall visual style of this one and some of the, like the little like creative bits that they did. This one just resonated with me pretty well. But sadly, I cannot put this at an A because the theme song is not bad. It just did not hit as well for me. Not by, not by a huge margin. Again, I still like it, but just not as much. But then that is Fix This. This one, to me personally, is the best intro that they made. I think this one is the best one that they have made, 100%. Now, one thing I will say for this one, compared to the last one I talked about in this one, they both have a collage look to them. But the reason I'm going to justify this one is because while the last one, we were mainly in sort of like you know, like a mountain range kind of area. This one, they decided to just basically do like different sceneries. First one is like a boat going through the water and like a little like city kind of background. The next one, you're at like like a little bar area with the like area of the cocktail and stuff. And then we're back into like a more like mountain kind of area with an eruption happening. Those little switch ups and stuff to different sceneries was nice. Super nice, actually, I should say. But the theme song for this one is such a banger. Nice little like eight bit kind of thing going. I, I just love the way it's Sound. And one point that I'm going to mention with this one that I didn't mention in the last one. So going back to the last intro really quick, when the name of the show was popping up from the ground, and even when like the roof shot the fire, it went along with the actual song itself. Like whenever those like things happened, it went along with like one of the beat of the theme song. And this one does the same thing, but again, I just think the way that this one sounded and the way that it was transitioning and stuff and some things that were happening, I just think it really hit well. Especially this one when the volcano erupted with one of the like beats of the song, that hit well. And the ending as well when it matched up with the rooster shooting the fire, that was perfect. So yeah, I think you know where this is obviously going. Yep, that's an S tier all day. I think for me, that is their best intro. All right, what's next? All right. I mean, for starters, for this one, I would say the theme song does feel more laid back. I will say that. It has a more laid back feeling to it. I did like the little like references that they did, especially with the very first part of this intro. You know, referencing back to the very first like intro of the prefix. It was a nice touch. And it was a little bit cool, I guess, is how it's just like going downwards, like through the egg, and then one like through the sink, and then kind of panning upwards, and then the rooster then up for the intro. Decent transitions. It's not bad or anything. I do think it's solid. I just think this one just feels more laid back. Kind of hovering between an A and a B. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna put this one at an A, but it's on like the more lower end of A, on the lower section of A. Mainly because this one does have a more laid back kind of feeling. I just kind of just like a more energetic and upbeat sounding beats in general. It's still not a bad intro. Still like it. Just has a more laid back kind of feeling. And we're finally on the last one, and this is their most recent intro. Okay, this one is, this one's pretty interesting, I will say, because I actually really like the visual of this one. It really kind of remind me of like a color pencil slash like charcoal kind of look to it. The theme song sounds a lot more like wavy and groovy. I also did like how they actually just use red link space as well. 
showing up different weird things that's going on and stuff. Between A and B again is a tough call. It really is. I like the visual style of it, and the actual theme song is interesting. That I think I, I can I can definitely get around this. You know what? All right, I think I'm gonna give it for the same reasons I did just the last one. A on the lower end, but I think above, like the second to last one. Definitely above that. All right, I made it to the end. There we go. There is my tier list. This week, just from like the S to the B, like overall, I would say they're just, they're solid intros, like for the most part anyways. I would just say that some of these just kind of range when it comes to just like, probably more in just like maybe their visual styles and some more in like some of the creative outputs that they did or just the way that the theme song sounded and things like that. Or there was probably like just like a mixture of like some of these different components. Yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video and see you guys later. Bye.